Jada sneaker guy Got the people's eye Yeah, I keep that vibe Better watch me now The heat I'm popping now If that lace ain't popping out Then I'ma swap it out Jada sneaker guy 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 You Two Fam Ali, what is poppin' with everyone today, man? It is your boy Jay the Sneaker Guy coming at y'all today with some starfishes, man. Yes, y'all seen the title, y'all seen the intro, man. Today we will be checking out the upcoming Air Jordan 13 Starfish Cells or aka Shattered Bat Boys, man. But yes. These are set to release on Saturday, January 16th. Yes, that is the date. So by now you should have all your raffles in. Y'all should be getting back some results. And y'all should know if you have your mind. Well, yeah, you should have some sort of an idea if you want to cop these or not, you know. But in my opinion, these are a... Ah, I don't know. I'm leaning more towards cop, but... I, I don't know. I don't know, man. We about to talk about it, man. But if this is your first time stopping through checking out any of the family's content or you are a returning visitor, appreciate y'all for pulling up, man. I appreciate everyone, man. I appreciate all the support. But, uh, hey, like I said, if this is y'all first time when y'all are returning, go ahead and join the family that we have y'all by hitting that subscribe button. We are on the road to 50K and it is approaching, man. I think we're going to hit it by the end of February or so, man. So, Hey, I truly appreciate all the support, man. But um, yeah, let's get into this topic at hand, which is the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. <sighs> Bang! Here we have them, man. As you can see, a quick 360 look at them, man. I, as I said, these are set to release this upcoming Saturday. Um, retail price is I think $190 on these. These will be in a full family size run y'all so you know y'all will be able to get the whole family fresh looking uh you know shattered backboardish you know what i'm saying if, if that's what y'all would like to do but uh these are not a bad pair of shoes at all man and, and really you can't go wrong with that shattered backboard color blocking so um yeah man this is they, they go they go in my opinion man but um before we get into the review of these i will be announcing the winners of the appreciate that dj Dang, the giveaway set, you know what I'm saying? I, I was supposed to bend did this, but time and, and just my schedule, I've been busy, but I will be announcing the giveaway to this as well as the Air Jordan 1 Mocha. I don't know, I think I'm gonna do it on my Instagram, on Instagram Live, because both of them, both of the giveaways had attachments to Instagram, so in order for you to be a winner of this, you had to be following me on Instagram. So I think I'm gonna do it on Instagram, probably this weekend, probably on Saturday. Saturday probably so I will update y'all I will put it in the community tab so make sure y'all stay tuned and, and um, be on the lookout for when I will be going live to announce the winner of these and the Air Jordan 1 Mocha so good luck to everyone <sighs> bang starting with the box y'all this does come in a regular Air Jordan 13 box as I did mention about the box before I feel like they should change the colors of you know what I'm saying the box like this could have been an all white box with an orange jump man that would have been dope but anyways you know regular air jordan 13 stuff man taking a look at the size tag it reads air jordan 13 retro size eight and a half that's i went down half a size on these i like my shoes snug so uh color blocking is white starfish black pretty self-explanatory on um, retail for these is 190 as i said earlier you open up the lid we get uh no lot number no lot number on the lid is it a lot number Nah, I don't see any lot number on the lid. Don't see any stamps, no stickers, none of that stuff. Just plain. You got your lightly sell paper in there. And that is it for the box, man. Bang! Here we go, y'all, man. As you can see, topic at hand, Air Jordan 13, Starfish. And we got where it all started. 
the Air Jordan 1 OG Shattered Backboards, man. So yes, they did get the idea or the name, whatever you want to call it, from this shoe right here. This was the first Air Jordan ever to have that Starfish name, man. And um, since they knocked it out with these, they have never went wrong with the Starfish colorway on pretty much anything they put it on. So um, yeah, man, um, very, very iconic shoe. I just had to give it its, its little two seconds of fame because um, if it wasn't for these, man, these would probably these wouldn't probably be here, man. So big shout out to the OGs. Arguably one of the greatest quality Air Jordans out there as far as leather-wise. Um, I don't know about the grade of leather, but as far as the feel of it and all that, you know, hey, arguably one of the best, man. But let's get these out of here and let's talk about the topic at hand, man. So starting with the outsole on them. You got that, you know, that paw print top on the upper, and it is white. You do got your hits of orange in there. You got your carbon fiber plate in the middle with your green hologram jump man right there. So that is it for the outsole, regular Air Jordan 13 outsole. I admit so, y'all. One of the key factors to me on this shoe is the black pods because you will get a long lasting, you know what I'm saying, shoe as far as with the, the outsole being the way it is. So I do love that they put black on the midsole on these because the white pods y'all already know how how the pods get on air jordan 13 so that is a big plus to have the black pods on the air jordan 13 and it does look good with the white the orange and the black contrast so moving up from that we get a nice furry furry uh suede which is an orange what they're calling the starfish color which is a a different orange than oranges that we're used to seeing like it's very hard to explain the tone of orange that they have on the shoe the only thing i can say is I, I love it i love the tone of orange that they use it's kind of its own unique orange but you know nonetheless you can pair it up with a lot of different oranges because you know your shoes are on your feet and you're gonna have you know your your whatever color up on the top of you so it's kind of hard unless you have it side by side to kind of notice the difference in oranges but very nice orange that they have on there like i said and it does have furry suede moving up you do get this white upper which on air jordan 13s you always get that tumble look but um this one does have nice plush leather and it does crease up you see it very nice soft leather that does crease up upon me me pushing it in so um I can't complain with that man but Air Jordan 13s always normally does have a plush upper and nice decent leather but this one is not stiff at all it's, it's very plush man so taking a look to the front of the shoe it is a soft you know what I'm saying toe box area and it does have that that crease up effect too as far as when I'm pressing on it man so pretty much good decent leather on this shoe all around um and that's a good look man we two for two in 2021 because the air jordan ones had decent the vote goals they had decent leather on those too so hopefully the jordan brand is you know up in their game a little bit on the quality on these um taking a look at the front you got that jordan tab with that starfish jordan written across it you do get your roman numerals on the back which reads 13 and um these come with white laces and white laces only i will not be swapping the laces man your boy don't really do do too much swapping on air jordan 13 because i do feel that on air jordan 13 your best look in them is your standard laces you know what i'm saying so whether it's an all white or all black base shoe you might have black laces on a black shoe and white on a white shoe i think that's the best look in my opinion because you don't want to do too much as far as you know the the just crazy head to toe i mean certain outfits is cool to do head to toe matching but i think it's a little too much for a shoe like this this is just a nice casual looking shoe with the white laces but moving on you get your uh holes throughout your whole tongue going up and you do get that starfish jump man at the top and you do got your your tumble leather look all over that tongue and um moving on to the back of the shoe where we do get our hologram we got that two three right there that infamous two three and it does come with that plastic over it. i don't know if y'all can see my but yeah you can it does come with that plastic just like all your air jordan 13s do and um that's pretty much it for the exterior of the shoe and like i said man i can't i can't stress enough how nice of an orange tone that they have on this shoe man it's a very very nice orange but moving on from that on the inside of the shoe we do get a starfish insole with a black jump man that y'all can barely see but starfish insole black jump man with your size and sticker in there let's remove this shoe tree it's only a half size so we got eight through eight and a half on the shoe tree on this one um it reads die cut sock liner on the inside of the shoe tree so um that's it for that shoe tree um 
these shoes right here were manufactured from june of last year through what is that august june through august so we really could have got these shoes last year but they just waited for early this year to give it to us but only a two month production on these and i don't think that we'll have any trouble as far as uh, availability of these shoes i think there'll be quite a few pairs out there but you know this is the time of the year to not sleep on any shoes man you know people have just recently got stimulus checks people are getting tax money in man so it is not a time to sleep on anything there's nothing 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 safe right now man so if y'all do have you know any any thoughts of wanting this shoe go ahead and go after it you can always flip these because like i said people are spending that money right now so people are if these sell out people are willing to pay resale for them and i don't think resale is gonna be nothing crazy but people will take them off your hands so hey just get them see what they look like and then from there you can either flip them or you can return always return them but uh it's a shoe that's worth a look in my opinion man so yeah that's it man for the air jordan 13 starfish cell aka shadow back boys man big shout out to the og you know because like i said man the og uh jordan one shadow back boys is what paved the way for shoes like this and i can't i can't lie man that that orange on this on anything really it just pops man so my uh grade my rating that i would give this shoe i give this shoe a i give it a a eight and a half i give it a decent eight and a half very clean like i said man that orange that they use i don't know what they what they put together to get this perfect color but hey they did the thing with these and and that black mitt so that's that's a that is a very big plus in my opinion man so hey let me know y'all thoughts on these are y'all picking these up on saturday full family size running get some for your kid get some for your aunt for your mom your sister your brother your ex get them for the whole fam man but that's it for this one we gonna throw them on feet no lace swap but um stay tuned because we will be swapping out some shoes and i got a banger vid coming up man so hey stay tuned hit that notification bell sub up if you aren't already a part of the family and uh till the next time your boy jay sneaky guys checking out with the starfish 13s man so y'all stay blessed i'm gone peace Oh,